there's a lot of leaders and CEOs at the moment who are looking for faster change. And one of the things they're doing is they're asking their organization to come up with more innovation. And it reminds me of a situation that I used to see all the time in food companies. When a food company wants to innovate, they start often in a kitchen, a chef kind of environment, and they come up with ideas that fit current trends externally and what people are wanting and health and things like that. So these chefs come up with all these creative ideas. And after they've come up with a few, there's some form of prioritization and decision around which one is gonna to go to the factory to get scaled up. Now when it goes to the factory to get scaled up, the chefs aren't the right team to get that happening. They're food technologists. Those food technologists use their skills and abilities to fiddle with the formulas and the, the ingredients and the pace of the, of the production line and they need to oversee and monitor and essentially take it from something small into something a lot bigger. So they interact between the chefs and they interact between the production team. Now this is a very similar situation to many businesses where you leaders and CEOs are standing in front of everyone and saying, hey, we need more innovation, we want you to change stuff, we want you to take more risks. And I don't think that's the right approach because we need your small team of entrepreneurial people called intrapreneurs to be the chefs, to come up with the, the creative ideas and then they need to go through some sort of prioritisation and resourcing. And then there's another group that needs to scale them up into your core business. And the core business doesn't want to change stuff all the time. Those people are experienced and skilled. They don't have this change orientation that these entrepreneurs have. So the scalers take it from here and get it into your core. So it's not the right way to go about it, to stand up in front of everyone and say, hey, we want you to all to change, all to be more innovative or to take more risk when it applies to different sets of people different ways. So you've got three groups of people. You've got your entrepreneurs. They want to change everything even when it's not broken. They want to change things all the time. You need them right now because you need to change your organisation. Then you've got people who can take those ideas and work with them and work them into your core business. And then you've got the core teams that need to get stuff to customers all the time. That the day-to-day -day stuff can't just stop. It's the bulk of where all your revenue and profit comes right now, but this is where your stuff's gonna come from tomorrow. So think of your organization in three teams. Find these guys, resource them, so they find your future.